The 501 RCG combines the features of our market-leading cable glam range with the plug-and-play benefits of a connector. The product consists of two halves, the 501 RCG entry, which is hardwired to the equipment, and the 501 RCG body, which is used to terminate the cable. The 501 RCG entry highlighted is supplied with crimp pins for end-user termination onto conductors. The 501 RCG body consists of a centre nut, socket insert supplied with socket contacts, spigot, armour clamping ring, middle nut and back nut. 501 RCG Entry Installation Guide Take the conductors, which are to be hardwired into the equipment, strip 5mm of the conductor. Slide pin contact over the exposed copper. Ensure that the insulation is tight to the contact with a maximum of 1mm exposed copper. Use a crimping tool to crimp the contact to the conductor. It is important that a radial style, four jaw, six jaw, or hexagon crimp tool is used, ensuring consistent 360 degree collapsing of the crimp barrel. Noting the numbering of the pin positions, which are molded into the entry component, slide the conductors through the entry insert. The next step requires a pin insertion tool this can be purchased from Hawk International as a separate item. Use the pin insertion tool to push the contact into the insert until you hear the engagement click. Repeat for all positions. Inspect the contacts to ensure they are straight. If needed, adjust with the insertion tool. Slide supplied IP washer over the conductors and entry thread. Wind the entry onto the equipment and tighten. The conductors may now be wired into the equipment. The entry may be supplied with an energized cap. In order to fit this component, firstly align and engage the keyways. Screw the cap onto the entry until hand tight. Using a tool to ensure the entry cannot turn, use a second tool to tighten. It is now permitted to energize the equipment. The 501 RCG Body Installation Guide Prepare the cable as detailed in the assembly instructions. Ensure the armour or braid is correctly cut and stripped. Dismantle the components of the 501 RCG body as shown. The socket insert will come away from the spigot when squeezed. Slide the back nut and middle nut onto the cable. Confirm the orientation of the armour clamping ring is correctly orientated to suit the cable type, then slide onto the cable. Slide the spigot over the conductors and push the shoulder up to the exposed armour or braid. Slide the clamping ring back up the cable and over the armour or braid as far as possible. Slide the middle nut up the cable until it meets the armour clamping ring. Pass the centre nut over the conductors and hand tighten to the middle nut. Grip the centre nut with a wrench. Using a second wrench, tighten an additional half to three quarters of a turn. Unscrew the middle nut. Inspect the armour clamping ring, confirming it is now clamped in place. If clamping is not satisfactory, repeat the process. Splay the conductors. Note the numbering on the socket insert. Feed the cable conductors through the correct slot in the socket insert. Slide the socket insert down to the spigot until it clicks in place. Mark the cut length and the strip length on the cable conductors. Visual indicators are molded into the socket insert. Cut the conductors to length. Strip the conductors to expose the correct amount of copper. The socket insert may be removed to assist this process. Take the first contact, slide over the conductor and press into the slot as shown. 
The contact will now be retained in the socket insert. Repeat for all positions. Take a moment to confirm the sockets are correctly seated. Visually confirm all the contacts are concentric to the openings in the tip of the socket insert. Visually confirm all the contacts are correctly rotated so that the grub screw is in the center of the slot. The product is supplied with a sachet of thread locker. Apply a drop to each of the grub screws and tighten with a screwdriver. Loosely screw the center nut onto the middle nut. Do not tighten. Confirm that the metalwork can still spin around the cable and insert. The 501 RCG may have been fitted with a metallic cap which allows the product to be energized. The system must be de-energized before this cap is removed. Take the 501 RCG body and offer up to the entry. Ensure the keyways are aligned. Engage the body into the entry and hand tighten. Grip the entry with a wrench and use a second wrench to tighten the center nut. Hand tighten the middle nut. Grip the center nut with a wrench. Use a second wrench to apply a further quarter turn to the middle nut. Tighten the back nut by hand until a seal is formed around the cable. Use a wrench to grip the middle nut. Use a second wrench to apply another full turn to the back nut. Use the middle nut tightening guide as an indication that the back nut is in the correct position. The installation of the 501 RCG is now complete.